special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. There's only one place to enjoy the action and it's right here with us on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Bologna, and they take on Juventus. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Corner coming up. Delivering it. Oh, breezing past him. Really important tackle. Radio. Well, and Dusan Vlahovic, we're talking about a very special talent. What do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situation... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be determined defending Gatti. Now Rabio. Weston McKenney. Now who can he pick out? Still looking for space. Now just the tackle that was needed. Remo Freuler. Well, good run and good ball control. A fine reading of the situation. Good strength to keep the ball. And teammates to play it to. Vlaovic. On to Chiesa. Surely! And saved by the keeper. And played short. opportunity well you've got to classify that as a poor attempt a long way wide
much smoother in possession. John Lukumi. It's with Posh. Lukumi. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Remo Freuler. Ndoye. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Opportunity to level it. And in range, marvellous anticipation. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, disappointing clearance. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Federico Chiesa. Rabio. And in a perfect position to cut it out. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes. And they've created chances. But they just haven't had that end product. But you just get a sense that equaliser is coming. And with that, the referee spotted the infringement. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ebisha. Freiler in possession. Could cross it in here. And they find a gap in the defence. Ebisha. It's with Push. No possibilities inside the box. That is that for the first half here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And defensive play to be applauded. Andrea Cambiasso. And it's with McKenney. 
Federico Gatti. Now Rabio. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Just the challenge that was required. Ebisha. A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in. And they're making a change. Remo Freuler. Ossolini with it. Freuler in possession. Promising sequence. No way through. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Cambiasso. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Rabiot. Well, full marks for getting past him. Opportunity here. Well, that was the chance to extend the lead. Well, that's a waste, really. He's got to hit the target there. So, a personnel change then. We're into the final half hour. On the offensive. Well, he tried to put everything into the shot, but couldn't find the target. It's a substitution for Juventus. Possession seeded by Juve. He continues his run. The cross is on. Federico Chiesa. Vlahovic. Oh, Chiesa! And a goal here for Juventus. Surely there's to lose now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. Ndoye. Christiansen. Ossolini with it. Chance to do damage. Played into the center. Just can't get it past him. Weston McKenney. Dusan Vlahovic. Vlahovic. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net.
just 15 minutes remaining. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? That's not a bad ball. Just the clearance that was needed. Alexandro. And it's with McKenney. Cambiasso. Chiesa. Christiansen. Ndoye. Christiansen. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. Will we find the net? That is how to keep it out of the net. And a Juventus personnel change here. Let's see about the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Rabio. There to take it away. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Space galore for Juventus. He's got to score! Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Keen to take it short here. It is advantage, Juve. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Federico Gatti well, taking into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on plenty of running room in the wide position and a good looking ball and the cross is immediately dealt with and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.